Hey y'all, it's Curleen. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I've been going a little fragrance crazy and in today's video, I have a blind buy. I'll be sharing with you some fragrances that I picked up that I didn't have much to go on before I picked them up, but I just did. So if you're interested in watching that, please stay tuned. Thank you so much to all of my subbies for tuning back into my channel. I appreciate you so much. And to those of you who may have just found my video, I do videos on lifestyle, luxury, I do review videos, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my homeschool journey as a mom of three. So if you like those things, then you definitely wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you would join the family. And also, make sure you hit that notification bell because it's gonna let you know exactly when my videos drop. So I didn't really have another place to put these, so I did put all of them in this Louis Vuitton bag because it was just convenient. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them from the bag. We'll start out with this tiny little box here, and this fragrance is D&G's Poufam Intense. It's a free sample that's not meant to be for sale, but I did purchase this on FragranceNet for $10, I want, I wanna say. The reason why I purchased this fragrance is because of the marshmallow note that everybody keeps talking about. So I did want to go ahead and try it and see if I would like it. I also opted for the intense version because of the reviews I had been watching here on YouTube. So I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to go for the intense in this particular one. I have tested these out, but not extensively, not enough to get to know them. So I'm gonna be putting them on my skin or on some paper with you guys right now so that I can refresh my memory and tell you what I'm smelling. So I'm gonna take this and just dab it on my wrist here. Ooh, that's a little too much. For me, right away with this fragrance, what I'm smelling is a soft, powdery, fluffy, floral is what I'm smelling. This is not an overly sweet fragrance. It's just more fluffy, and I'm guessing that's the marshmallow note. I get it right away, that fluffy, soft, powdery feel. And then I also get a hint of florals in here. I feel like I'm smelling some citrus in here as well. So it's like a citrus kind of in the background. And then it's like a really, really light sweetness with um, with that marshmallowiness, And I also get a hint of some kind of woodiness, like a sandalwood or something like that. I don't remember the notes, but that is what I'm smelling. It's very clean, it's very cozy, it's very bold, but in a soft way. And I imagine wearing this today on a day where I'm dressed up, I'm wearing a crisp button down. I now have some faux leather pants on, I have my makeup done, my nails done, and I pop something like this on to just add to that next level of confidence. I feel like this is what I would reach for on a day like today. That's what I think of. Like if I want to feel super confident, super feminine, super sexy, I would reach for this. And I'm very happy with my purchase, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This is good, y'all. By the way, you might hear my two-year-old in the background. I do apologize. It's It's been a morning. It's been a morning, y'all. Ooh, I don't know. This might be my fragrance today. Like, might be my fragrance of the day. This makes me want a full-size bottle because this is just beautiful. It's soft, feminine. It's like a coziness that you get from that marshmallow. And the marshmallow gives it the illusion of being sweet but this is not a sweet fragrance this is not a fragrance that i would call sweet there's a little bit of sweetness it doesn't have any type of fruitiness or anything like that it doesn't have a brown sugar um it's it's a sweet because of the illusion of like the marshmallow note i feel like i definitely see what the hype about this fragrance is and i'm also glad i picked up the intense i think the full bottle that i pick up in this will also be in the intense the intense is not too strong it's not like beast mode it projects but it's closer to the wearer than just out there so i would imagine you'd have to over spray to really get like a huge projection i don't know how long lasting these are this is just a blind buy first impressions kind of thing but I'll definitely be back to talk about this. This is beautiful. So my next blind buy from Fragrance Net was for this Hugo Boss, the scent for her. Like I said, I have tested these, so I've opened these and I'm not happy about the way this looked when I took it out of the plastic. It had plastic wrapping. I took the plastic wrapping off, so it's supposed to be new, but it looked like that it wasn't full all the way. And then the top that's supposed to be really beautiful looks a bit tarnished. So I'm not happy about that. 
um, but the fragrance itself is very nice. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Like I just wish my top looked the way it was supposed to look. I don't know if you can tell that it's a bit tarnished, but yeah, this is such a beautiful bottle. I love this. The bigger bottles are even more beautiful. So let's see here. I picked this fragrance up because I wanted a purely springtime fragrance. I wanted at least a couple of them because I had been gravitating more towards sweet fragrances, especially coming from the winter. But I really just wanted some springtime floral, fruity floral fragrances in my collection. So I was watching YouTube again and um, one of the channels I absolutely love watching for fragrance reviews is Amy Glam because I feel like we have similar noses and she does such a great job explaining the fragrances. So um, I think she has the, the one, she doesn't have this one, she has the one with the chocolate, the um, private accord I believe and I have my eye on that one, but I wanted to pick up something lighter for the springtime in Florida. Let's go ahead and spray this. Oh, this one is so refreshing. It's refreshing, but it's not an aquatic. I don't really like aquatic fragrances. This is a juicy, fruity freshness. Mm. Right away, I get that sweet, sweet peach. Imagine a peach that's ripe, but not overripe. Just ripe, and it's been cut open, and you can kind of smell it. And you're kind of just getting wafts of it from the flesh being exposed, from cutting that peach. That's what I'm getting right now. Mm. Now I'm getting that floral note. I believe the floral note is freesia, or osmanthus, or it could be both that I'm smelling but the floral comes through next the floral and right now i'm not getting the cacao but i imagine the cacao is more of a dry down especially on the skin type of thing right away i get the peach that sweet sweet fruit and the beautiful beautiful light white floral that's what i'm getting this is gorgeous this scent is just a pretty girl type of scent. Um, it's very youthful, it's very light, it's not offensive. You can wear this anywhere. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love this. All right, up next is this Versace Crystal Noir. Now this one, this is the Strictly YouTube Made Me Buy It edition right here. Like this is not something that I would have looked for or purchased on my own. This is a YouTube made me buy it right here. I'm sure you all are very familiar with what this fragrance bottle looks like. It's very beautiful. I love it. I love the aesthetics of it. And let's go ahead and spray this. Like I said, I have had like kind of a first impression with these already. And I'll tell you now that this one is nothing like I expected. So going based off of people's recommendations on YouTube, this turned out to be very, very different uh, for me personally. Right away when I sprayed this, it gives off a strong blast of cardamom and pepper. Like that is the first thing that I smell. I did read that this has fig and I think black currant. So some type of berry and a fig. And when I sprayed this on my skin, I did get that sweetness. That sweetness was also at the top with that cardamom and that pepper. Although cardamom and pepper are not listed for this one, I feel like that's what I smell. I also smell sandalwood and I feel like maybe that's what I'm smelling is the sandalwood, but there's a pepperiness to this one. This is the EDT by the way. Even though pepper is not a note for the EDT, I just get such a strong blast of this pepper and what smells like cardamom, like in the EDP. So that's what I get at first. I also get a little bit of sweetness. It's not an overly sweet or an overripe sweetness. It's a very subtle, slight sweetness. Yeah, to me, I'm getting a pepperiness at the top of this and a spice that smells like it could be the cardamom to me, to my nose. So the interesting thing is that 
on me, the dry down is when I was able to smell the florals in here. It's a white floral that has this greenness to it, and that's what I smelled on the dry down of this one. I did not smell that until about 15 plus minutes later when the fragrance had dried down on my skin. So the dry down takes a while on this one. I would say this fragrance would be good for the winter time, and also this fragrance is a nighttime fragrance. So like date night or just going out at night, this would be great. This is definitely not something that I purchased to wear this spring and summer. I just wanted to have this in my collection. And I will tell you, I think this is gonna take some getting used to because it's a bit more serious and dark and deep than I'm used to. So yeah, that is the Versace Crystal Noir EDT. One of my recent blind buys was kind of an easy decision for me. I could blind buy these things all the time and never have a problem. I'm sure I'd be 100% happy once I smell them. And that is Kayali's Vanilla 28. And this is just a vanilla fragrance. The notes on this one are Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. And for me, I mostly smell the the brown sugar and the amber woods as well as the musk. So there's the beautiful bottle. It's such a sophisticated bottle. I love the way this looks. This is just a very, very simple fragrance. Although this is called Vanilla 28, for me, this is such an ambery, on my skin, it's so ambery. It's like a brown sugar and amber. And then I don't really get the vanilla until the dry down when the amber sort of settles down. That's when I get that vanilla, those vanilla vibes. But right away when I spray this, it's just amber city on me and a beautiful sweetness from the brown sugar. So this has been beautiful for layering. I love the richness and the sweetness that this adds to any fragrance. I've been having so much fun layering with this. I can add it to any fragrance when I want a bit more sweetness and a bit more depth. This works perfectly. I cannot wait to get my hands on a couple more Kaoli scents. If you have any recommendations for me, drop them down below. But I have my eye on the apple fragrance as well as the white floral fragrance. And I'll probably be going to Sephora to sniff them real soon. But if you have any recommendations from Kaoli for me, drop them down below. Also, can we talk about this juice? Like, look at how dark and luxurious this looks. Like so beautiful as you can see i've definitely been using it have not had it for that long maybe about a month or so less than a month i want to say i've been loving this so yeah i'm very happy with this purchase so the next purchase is something that i'm not quite sure about i love the dry down i purchased this based off of youtube again this is another youtube made me buy it and i purchased it because i wanted i was curious about her line of fragrances and this is a celebrity fragrance this is ariana grande's thank you next i was at marshall's the other day and i saw it so i grabbed it and um for the most part, I really do enjoy this. So let's spray it and I'll refresh my memory on what's going on with it and share that with you. I love that it comes in this, this cute little heart situation. I just love that. I think that looks so super duper cute. I do prefer to store mine without it. So this is what it looks like without. And for me, I love the dry, the dry down. It's so beautiful. It lasts so long. It's so sweet, so beautiful, but it's the top, the initial spray that conflicts me a little bit. And mm, it's such a sweet fragrance. This is sweet sugar, cotton candy goodness in a bottle. When I first spray this, I just smell like a plastic, like the plastic you smell when you're opening up your kids' toys that plastic from that fresh new toy that's what i smell it's like the plastic smell is covering up the goodness of the fragrance so i still smell that sweetness from underneath that plasticky smell but that's what i get now a lot of people say they smell dill or pickles and if you are in that camp that gets that right away like there's no going back just you're not going to enjoy the fragrance because you're not going to be able to get over that I, however, do not smell dill or pickle. It's more of a plastic that I'm smelling. Oh, but after that plastic settles down, like this 
is such a sweet fragrance. You smell that coconut, it starts to come through. I get that coconut and I feel like there's some other fruits in here that, that are adding to that sweetness. I also get some vanilla and the dry down on me is pure coconut. There is a musk in here as well, but I'm not really picking that up right now. And when I tested this on myself, I didn't really pick up the musk. But what the dry down is like on me is just coconut, a sweet, sweet coconut. And it's not the kind of coconut that you associate with suntan, lotion, or the beach. It's more of, it's a little bit sweeter and it's not salty. It's not a salty coconut. It's a non-offensive coconut. So I could see myself wearing this in the evening because it's not like a daytime salty coconut. It's more of a really sweet, rich, creamy coconut. I feel like I could wear this year round. So I, I love this. I love it a lot. I think after that initial plastic note that smell of plastic i can truly enjoy this and for that reason i'm definitely going to be keeping this also it wasn't very expensive i think i paid 24.99 for this for this one ounce at marshall's i love this i'm very happy with my purchase and this is something that i could totally see even spritzing on my daughter she's four and we could kind of be like scent twinsies before we go out for the day I just love this and I love the color pink so does my daughter so yeah it's it's a win it's a win in my book I do have cloud on the way coming to me so I'm super excited to smell that because I've heard so many good things about it the only downside to this is that weird plastic smell but overall I really enjoy this now my next fragrance I wanted I didn't want to commit to a full-size bottle I already have this brand and I enjoy the fragrance that I have so I just wanted to test the waters with this and let me tell you, I absolutely love that I purchased this and I'm seriously considering a full bottle. The only reason why I wouldn't get a full bottle is because of what I'll share with you next, the next fragrance that I also blind bought. So this is Seven Virtues Lotus Pear. This fragrance has pear, it has a white floral, I believe it has geranium. It's really sweet, it has subtle hints of green. This fragrance is just beautiful. I wish this were not a roller ball because I love to just spray my fragrances but this is so beautiful so if you want to know what this smells like smell gucci's gorgeous gardenia that's what this smells like except gorgeous gardenia is a bit more creamy for some reason they smell so much alike and i believe it's the pear accord that they have in these fragrances they smell so similar and this is a kind of pear that i love the first sniff of this is that beautiful juicy sweet pear is so succulent it's so sweet i imagine it's nice and crisp and crunchy it's ripe but it's not overripe i imagine it's just a beautiful consistency the flesh of it is not soggy but it's not too crunchy it's somewhere in the middle and it's so sweet and so satisfying that's what i get at first Ooh, that is so good and then after that i start getting that gardenia that geranium it's not a cloying sweet it's a more fruity fresh sweet it's just fresh and it has a bit of warmth to it. The Gucci Gorgeous Gardenia has even more warmth and creaminess to it. This is like a step back from that. It's not super duper creamy, but if I wanted to add depth, I could definitely mix it with my Kaoli Vanilla 28 to give it some depth. But this is a beautiful, light, fresh. You smell fresh, but it's not aquatic. It's just a beautiful, juicy, fresh, sweet fragrance and it smells expensive y'all it smells really really expensive so i'm considering getting the full size bottle which i believe at sephora is 85 dollars i do have vanilla woods and i absolutely adore vanilla woods the pear in vanilla woods is similar to this but not quite the same but i just love the way that vanilla woods does pear okay y'all speaking of pear my last blind buy is this is pear city and this is probably going to be my signature scent it's a fragrance that is so hyped up uh some people are tired of it because of that but i just found it and i am in love absolute love so the fragrance i'm talking about is jean paul gaultier's la belle and the reason why i'm showing you guys this 
box is because I got a really good deal at Macy's and I think you should take advantage of it if they still have this deal. I basically got a travel size for free because I purchased this set for $121 and it came with this travel size and the 3.4 ounce bottle. So this is the little travel size. Look at that juice. So beautiful. And then the fragrance, I have not actually taken the fragrance out yet. So let's see if I can do this without messing up my nail. So here we have the infamous bottle, Jean-Paul Gaultier bottle. Uh, holding this in person is so much better than I imagined it would be. Just watching all the reviews on this fragrance. I was admiring the elegance of this bottle, but holding it uh, is so much more beautiful in person. The bottle is gorgeous. So let's let's just get that out of the way. This bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this, y'all. Look at how gorgeous this is, y'all. Just look at that. It's so regal, so sophisticated, so feminine, obviously. <laughs> yeah, this is just, aesthetically, this is so worth the money. I just love this bottle. When I was younger, I used to see these bottles. The adults in my life would have the other fragrances from this house. And I would always admire the bottle from afar. But now that I'm an adult, I feel like I can truly appreciate its beauty. And it's, it's definitely an experience and such a vibe. So this was going to be my scent of the day. I wanted to play around with my other fragrances, smell them again, and decide, like really, really decide what I was going to wear today. But after opening this back up, this is it. This is going to be my scent of the day. So let's spray this on. I've currently been using the travel size because I wanted to start with that. The travel size is a sprayer, which I love. So now back to my thoughts on the pear note. The pear in this fragrance, it's almost identical to the pear in Lotus Pear, like almost the same exact pear. So although this is a fragrance that is more suited for the fall, winter, because I have this, I can brighten this and lighten this up by combining the two when I want that. This is something that I would wear year round, so I kinda don't care that it's more suited for fall and winter. The scent profile and the notes in here are just so me. And for that reason, this is probably going to be my signature scent. So let's spray this on. Ugh, this is so good, y'all. So, so, so good. Mm, right away, I get a, that pear note and that it's that same juicy pear that I get in Lotus Pear. But then I get amber. It's like an ambery pear. Um, that's what I smell right away. At the top of this, I smell the amber. And this is the amber I smell when I use Vanilla 28 from Kaoli. It's the same kind of amber. And the pear is the same pear in Lotus Pear. For me, I get that pear. I get that bergamot in the beginning. It's a tiny bit citrusy. It's sweet. And then that warmth of the amber just hits right away for me. That's what comes through on my skin. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is such a sophisticated scent. And although some people call it generic, I don't feel like it's generic at all. I feel like it is very feminine. It's very cozy, it's very inviting, it's very sweet. And I think it's the perfect year round scent when you wanna go for those cozy vibes. It's not overly wintry and it's not overly one time of day or another. It's something that is perfect all day long. Now the projection on this is really beautiful. It has a nice projection and it's also super duper long lasting. So I have been enjoying this. This is a blind buy that I do not regret. I went into Macy's that day. I told her what I wanted. She gave it to me. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get that set. She was trying to sell me the set and I wanted just a smaller version of this fragrance at first. And I said, you know what? What the heck? I'm just gonna go for it. And I went ahead and purchased the set and I'm so happy because I can take this along with me. And if this is my signature scent, obviously I'm going to wanna have this just in case I need to spritz myself again. But again, like I said, this is so long lasting that four sprays and you're good. I've decided this is my scent of the day. So I'm just gonna spray it on. I'm just gonna put it on my shirt as well. Mm, this is just so good, y'all. So, so good. It's one of those easy reach fragrances and also a great blind buy if you're not sure 
but you love pear, you love vanilla, you love bergamot, um, you love ambery. It's it's described as an amber fragrance. This fragrance is classified as an amber. I thought the description was on here, but it's not. If you like amber, you will love this fragrance. I think it's a safe blind buy. All right, y'all, so thank you so much for sticking through to the end of this video. I'm so happy to have spent this time with you sniffing around and talking about fragrance. A slightly new obsession of mine, just a little bit. I'm about to head out for the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And before I leave, I just wanna encourage you to keep being you because you are so necessary. If no one else told you this week or today, you are amazing. The world needs you. The world needs you in all of your essence and all of your glory. So don't be afraid to be your truest self today. I will see you all very soon in another one. Thank you so much for watching.